team call off. First of all, thank you everybody for jumping on tonight's team call. I'm so, so excited um, to kick off this hangout with the rapid fire questions like we did last week. We had so much fun learning about each other and laughing and that's what this hangout is all about is get to know each other, help each other to grow, help each other stay accountable, give each other the, the space to, um, to ask for help, to, uh, to encourage one another and um, to learn. So we are going to kick tonight's call off with rapid fire. So we're going to go in order down the line, Deborah and then Jason and then Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to the call, everyone. And, uh, and we're going to start this with um, first question goes to Deb and then we're going to just go next question is going to go to Jason's. I'll say your name. I'll say the question. And you have to say the first thing that jumps to your mind. Not like, uh, I think I would pick blue is my favorite color. It's like a uh, blue or a green. And like, you know what I mean? Like it, it should come really fast. Okay. So here we go. Round number three of rapid fire on tonight's missions for life team call. Deborah Bedford, favorite ice cream. Oh, and make sure you're unmuted. Oh. Uh, for I... Jason, you're going to need to unmute as well. <laughs> I think his screen is frozen. I'll unmute you. Nice oh. smile on his face there, Paused. Yeah. Jason, you're frozen. Come back to us. Okay. Well, we'll, I think he's, he froze. Okay. So mom, sorry. Uh, favorite ice cream flavor. Uh, tin roof or mudslide or something. Okay. Tin roof or mudslide. Sarah, uh, say a word in Spanish. <laughs> See you a mañana. <laughs> Good. Debra, um, do you believe in fate? Fate? Faith. <laughs> no. Faith. Fate. fate. Ask me quick. Fate. No. <laughs> fate. <laughs> um, Sarah, favorite number? Seven. Debra, who is... Uh, who has it easier, men or women? Men. <laughs> Sarah, have you ever worn socks and sandals? I know the answer to this. I didn't hear the question. Sarah, do you, have you ever worn socks or sandals? Oh, sandals. Socks no, sandals. no, no. Yes, every day I do. Every day. <laughs> every day I do it. Deborah, name the uh, primates besides monkeys and apes. Name a primate besides monkeys and apes. Orangutan. All right, Sarah, why can't we tickle ourselves? <laughs> Shoot, I just can't hear the questions. You're breaking up. Hang on. Sorry. Okay, try again. <laughs> the <qu> <laughs> it's gone. The question's gone. The question is why can't we tickle ourselves? I don't know. Stop asking me dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, Deb, what kind? Uh, what does a person need to be happy? <laughs> this is <laughs> the best rapid fire we've ever done. Uh, oh First God! Question ever round three. Uh, Deborah, what does a person need to be happy? <laughs> I said God. God. Okay. Sarah, um, is there such a thing as um, objective beauty? Beauty in the eye of the beholder. I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Deb, what's your best? What's the best age? Now. Great, Sarah. Um, if Voldemort offered you a hug, would you accept it? I don't know who he is, but I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Last question, um, and Jason must have bailed. Is double dipping uh, at a party even acceptable? Skinny uh, dipping no. at a party? <laughs> no, not skinny dipping. Double dipping. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you double dip the chip, Kip. Okay. Well, that was our rapid fire round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it, got us all, it got us all laughing and we learned a little bit about each other okay so um we're we're done with that 
<laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So um, tonight's team call is all about um, setting yourself up for success by setting um, rituals for yourself and positioning yourself for success. So <clears throat> today we actually had a little teaching um, at, at my house uh, during a lunch break and Danielle and Sarah came over and we went over um, the importance of, of being intent, intentional with your business. So setting up these intentional things, um, scheduling, carving the time out, doing all this kind of, kind of thing is um, really what this call is going to be focused on and really helping um, not only you, but how to ask your people that are getting started with Isogenics, how to be able to set that up for them having success with the products. So for instance, let's just say that you don't know what your client's intentions are um, as far as their goals and certain things like that. Like they're just like, oh, I just want to try Isogenics and you just sort of give them a pack and you're like, hey, good, good luck with that. I'll, uh, let's see if it works, right? That, <clears throat> that is not really setting themselves up their themselves up for um intention right and so we want to be able to set the intention by talking to our customers or even asking ourselves what are our intentions for our goals so this could be for goals it could be for um, getting the product results it can be for pretty much anything that you're looking to um, to change or to achieve in your business or for your clients okay so <clears throat> just to open it up a little bit um, what would you, let's talk about a little bit of, um, first of all, about some goals. Okay. So, uh, starting with mom, what would you say are your goals with your business right now, as far as your, um, your business goals, and then let's talk about some of your health goals and we'll all share, and then we'll, we'll talk about like how to be able to set up for some, some more success. Um, well, I, I must say I haven't been doing much with the business. I use the products almost daily, um, but I need to make, set some goals to contact people. But I don't know, I just seem at times overwhelmed with what's going on here yeah. to, <laughs> to do anything else. So understandable. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but what would be your goals as far as business goes, if you actually could carve out, let's say an hour a day? just for yourself yeah well I mean I'd love to make you know even $500 a month would be awesome so that I could that is support a our mission missionary yeah absolutely so between even you and I if our goal just was to support Francisco better um, making $500 a month each and sending that over to him would be life-changing for them right so what we could do mm. is what we want to do for your intentions is we want to write down in your journal my business goal is to make $500 every month with Isogenics. Okay. So then we're going to take a look at, <clears throat> Hey Jason, glad to see you jump back on. <laughs> you must've had really bad service. <laughs> you okay? I think I'm back. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, just to be able to be intentional about that goal. Okay. So just like I'm writing a book right now, you guys, and it's called white butterflies and it's all about, First of all, understanding who you are so that you can understand what you're capable of doing so that you can understand what your destiny is and then how to live that out. Okay. So let's put this into context of isogenics <clears throat> in order to be able to achieve the goal, which is $500 a month. We first need to understand what we want, how, like what we're willing to put in. Okay. Like, First of all, we got to be the right person. Okay. So it's got to be the right time, the right belief in the company. And it's also got to be the right fit for you, right? It's got to be the right you. So what we want to do with that is that self-development is totally part of this part. Okay. So that's, that's taking time to cultivate yourself so that your belief stays strong, your belief in the, um, the company that is your, personal self, right? Your development in yourself is strong. And then it's also, you're carving that time out. So let's just say that you're like, okay, I want to do this goal of $500 a month with isogenics. 
Okay. So in order for me to do that, I need to be the right time, the right person, and I need to have the right belief in the company. So just to throw a couple questions out there, just to like freewheel a little bit here, what would be a way of getting better belief in the company? If you um, guys like realistically, it doesn't have to be some smart answer, just like fire away. Like, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't have to be a long drawn out thing, but like, what would be something that would build your belief in the company? Taking the products. Yep. Bingo. Yeah. So your <laughs> own product experience. What about somebody else's product experience? Yeah. Yeah. That well, we, good too. yeah. yeah we post people's um, success or you do all the time. Mm -hmm. Transformation Tuesdays. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So hearing somebody else's story of success, that would build right. your belief would like, this is just, this is a question for you guys, right? It's not yes. getting the right answer. It's just like, if somebody were going to, if you were going to like something more, if you were going to believe in something more, right? Like Christianity, we want to believe in God more. We read the word or we listen to a podcast or we get around other people who are sharing their testimony and then you get pumped up from that, right? Yep. Right? So if we're yeah. doing that in our belief, then why wouldn't we do that with isogenics? Listen to some podcasts. Listen to some stories that are available on the Isogenics International site. Watch the compensation program, right? See the testimonials that are in the Health for Life and in the other groups that are around, like the Isobody right? Are you guys the Canadian Isobody group, right? So there's an Isobody Canada, right? So you can go in there, you can see everybody's posting in there all the time, these transformations, 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 right? And you're like, wow, look at that. Look at this story. Look at this, this person. Look at this testimony that they have, right? Or you want to hear testimonies about finances. You can go into the Isogenics business on Facebook and you can read about it. Just like on, it's like your news for your business, right? So I do that all the time. I grab recipes. I grab business ideas. I grab videos and teachings. That's all an isogenics business, right? So I go and find these things and I watch them and I listen to these stories and I see these things popping up in my news feeds because I'm surrounding myself with belief every single day in the company, which is going to build my certainty. When you're talking to somebody about, trucks jason and you know about it does that person want you to work on their truck probably right because they're going to be like this yeah. dude knows what he's talking about right same thing for us is that if we don't know what we're talking about we're like oh, i don't even know what's an isogenics or like i don't even know why i'm taking it i just sort of was told and it works right that there is there is some there is some truth to that right? To not get overcomplicated, but to actually understand what you're sharing with people. It's like on a, on a menu at a restaurant, you don't need to know the whole menu to share that that's a good restaurant, right? You don't, yeah. but you still share it. So the same thing goes for isogenics. You don't need to know everything, but if you want to build your certainty, the testimonies are powerful, right? The compensation program to know how they pay us is powerful so listening to the product transformation and the financial transformation are two very powerful things right also having communication with these people like message them on instagram and say hey guy like i just saw your story about how you made a million dollars you know have you ever struggled with finding time in your day you might have been like that was my most like my greatest struggle so if you hear some of these stories on the, on the Isogenics International and you see these people, I can set up a team call and bring those leaders on to hear their story. Would you guys think that one leader a month would be a really cool thing to have on the team call of listening to these stories and their, their testimony? Would that be cool? And you can ask them some questions. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, yep. great. So we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to start implementing that um, onto the team call. So besides the belief, um, Okay, so I will bring a testimony about finances 
And what if I did one week, we did a story about the transformation. So you can invite people to listen to it. Would that be cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So that's really cool. So now if you're talking about, um, you're talking about, so we've talked about belief. So that's a certainty in the company. What about we talk about time? Okay. So if we've, go, if we're going to say, I need to make $500 every single month, then what you want to do is write $500 down in your journal. Okay. This is your goal. You want to keep your goals in front of yourself. So you want to stick that sticky note, not only on your, on your, um, fridge, you want to put it on your mirror in your bathroom when you're brushing your teeth. You want to put that goal in your car, on your dashboard. You want to stick it places so you're looking at your goal. It's in front of you all the time, right? This goal is where I want to hit $500 a month. I did this to hit 15 cycles a week. You guys, I was hitting 27 cycles last week because my next goal is 40 cycles a week, okay? And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I put my goals in front of me and I look at them all the time. Okay. If I'm going to hit 40 goals, right? 40 cycles a week. Does that mean I take 10 hours out of my week to watch TV? When I first started this business, I did not watch TV for over a year. I think I can recall. I watched maybe one, possibly maybe two movies in a year because my coach said there is no BV in TV. Okay. Which means if you want the money, you got to put the time in. But that time, remember, is going to pay out residually for the rest of your life. This isn't a time, trading time for money thing. This is putting the effort now so that it'll pay out when you have a back injury or you're somebody in your family dies and you can't function or a missionary that you're taking care of has an accident and they need, they need a surgery that you have to now pay for or COVID happens and your orphanage can't get food because the, the cost of that food, because the borders are closed, triple, right? So you'd never know when you're going to need a backup. You're never going to know when you need that extra bit of help, right? And for me, I'm standing here as proof. You guys know the pain that I've been going through for the past like year. If I didn't have isogenics, I don't know what I would do. I have no idea what I would be doing right now financially. And I'm better off now than I've ever been in my entire life. That's amazing. And I just came out of like a year of being injured and like couldn't do anything. Right. So this is the thing you guys is like, it's amazing, but it takes time and it takes work, right? It's not a get rich quick scheme. This is, we have to hustle if we want the results, but those results will pay over and over and over again every single Monday. Right. So let's go back to it. If we want to hit $500 a month, okay, that's our goal. That means that we need to do at least a couple things. First of all, we need to either cycle a certain amount of time. So if we're going to take 500, right, I'm a numbers person. Let's take 500 and divide it by 60 because that's how much one cycle is. So mom would need to, to at least cycle uh, two times every week. She needs eight cycles, 0.3 repeating. So two times every week and one cycle, an extra. How many cycles are you doing right now? Zero. Okay. But before when you had your team going, how many cycles were you making? One or two, right? Per week, right? Yeah. One or two. So there you go. So what, what is a way of getting those cycles back? contacting your team. Okay. So you get on the phone and you give them a call or you shoot a text message to them and you say, Hey, Sally, it's been like six months since we've talked. Just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Right. She might be like, Oh, I'm horrible. My guts are terrible. I got heartburn up the wazoo. She might say, <clears throat> well, I gained an extra 10 pounds on top of the COVID 20. You know, I really need some help, Deb. I'm struggling. She might say, oh, I'm so stressed out. I can't sleep at night. I don't know what to do, right? Um, she might say, I'm actually doing fantastic. I'm going to the Bahamas in like a couple months and I'm going to be in the sun. Oh my gosh, like how are you feeling in your bikini? Are you feeling really confident or whatever? Like have a conversation with these people and find out how they're doing. 
They might say, listen, I've seriously fallen off the wagon. I need some help. I'm so glad you called. Boom. There you go. Back. Their auto ships turn back on again. Okay. Another person might say to you, I don't know what we're going to do. John has just lost his job and we don't know what we're going to do. Oh my gosh. I actually have something that you could probably do from home. My daughter does this. I've been doing this. We have a really great team and support team all over the place. Let's get you in a, a meeting with my daughter. She can maybe share with something that you can do to earn a residual income from home, right? So there we go. So that's, that's two options, it's financial and it's product, okay? But it's contacting the people that are already on your team and just checking in with them. Start a conversation, see where they're at, see what they're saying, and just be realistic. Maybe to go for coffee with them, right? Find out what's going on in their life. Or guess what, you guys? On October 1st, we are going to be kicking off our 30-day challenge. So this is a great opportunity for all of you guys to invite new people to join with you. And it's as simple as, hey girl, or hey guy, I'm going to be doing this really fun challenge with a bunch of fun people. It's going to be great. You're going to meet so many new people and you're going to feel fantastic. Do you want to do this with me? If it doesn't work for you, you get all your money back. You want to do it? How easy is that? So that would be for somebody like Sarah. Who doesn't want to miss out on stuff? She's a seven, which means she's all about the party. She wants to be involved. She wants to like not miss out on anything, right? Say you've got somebody who's a blue, right? Oh my gosh, Deb, I know how much you love, you know, missions and stuff. And you really want to be on the best shape of your life so you can take care of your family and your friends. And I know that you've been struggling with this one thing. I really want to invite you to join the 30 day challenge. I think it will really make you feel great because I know how much you pour out to other people. This would pour into you and fill your cup. Are you up for it? That's how I talk to Deb because she's a blue. She's just like me, emotional, right? That's, that's what it's called. There's a yellow, which is all about the party. There's a blue, which is all about feeling and connection and like the emotional side behind it. There's a white, who is like the person who sits in the back row and analyzes every little detail and then decides if they want to or not want to be involved. So that person, I would say, hey girl um, or guy, I'm going to be doing a 30 day challenge. This is exactly what consists of this challenge. Bra, 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 bra. I know that you've got a very tight schedule. You are so busy all the time. And I know that convenience could totally help you out. Are you um, interested in me sending you some information so you can decide for yourself if this would be a good fit? I think it could really help you. Let me know. That's how I would talk to a white, okay? So then the last one is a red. I'm doing a challenge. It's starting on October 1st. If you don't get your pack and you're not ready to go, you're going to miss out. This could turn into an incredible opportunity for you. You're going to lose weight. You're going to be hot. You're going to be ready to crack it. And you're going to crush your goals. Are you in or are you out? That's a red. They want information. They don't want to beat around the bush. Okay. So those are the ways that I would talk to those people about inviting them to this challenge. Okay. Obviously like you're not going to be like necessarily that intense, but that shows you the different ways of how you're going to talk to your people. So before you do that, Think to yourself, who am I talking with right now? Am I talking with Susie, who's a white, or am I talking with Sarah, who's a yellow, right? So if it's Sarah, and it's going to be like, girl, you're not going to want to miss this. If you miss this, you're going to be kicking yourself in the leg. Like, you're going to love this. You're going to feel so much energy. You'll be able to chase your kids around. It's going to be crazy. You're going to crush it on the soccer team. Like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. There's going to be so many people doing it, right? That's how I would be like to Sarah right? Because that's, that's her vibe. So you want to meet people with where they're at. Okay. So another thing you guys, which is really, really cool. Isogenics just um, sent me this email this morning. So if you haven't checked your Isogenics emails, it's so worth checking. The reason is, is it says all new members will receive free shipping on initial orders of 150 us or 165 and good for you that our um, 11 day cleanse at the least is just that, okay? So they could do an 11 day or they would do a basic pack or they could do a premium pack or a weight wellness. But we really wanna get people at the basic at least, the basic pack is what they need to do two shakes a day, to do one or two cleanse days a week and be able to have the Ionic Supreme, which is so life changing, okay? So if you they start, this is between September 21st, which is today and the 
fourth, sorry, yesterday, is it the 21st? I don't know, it's today. So today to the fourth, it's a perfect time to invite all your people to get started. Even a last, a last few, you know, um, dragging their legs people can get this free shipping, you guys. That's a savings up to almost $20. So that's amazing, okay? So if you wanna know more about that, let me know. Um, there's also in your, your email, you will have this link. Let's see if I can get the thing. And you're gonna to wanna to click on that button that says learn more, okay? And that will tell you more of the details about that. So we have talked about being the right person, okay? Which is, um, no, we've talked about, sorry. We've talked about the right time which is carving your time, okay? So Deb, if you know that you wanna hit $500 a month, you need to either cycle eight times a month, which is talking to your people and getting their accounts turned back on, or getting some fresh blood in your team, which means inviting new people to join the next challenge, okay? So get it on a time crunch and then start inviting people. The other thing we can do, we can do another wellness event. I can host them from where I'm at and you can invite people over and I can do it again. We're doing, uh, I know with COVID, it's going to be really strict and kind of hard because there's a lot of cases in BC right now. So here's the thing. What about, um, I can't hear you because you're um, muted. I just said a lot of cases in Powell River. Really? Okay. So this has never been a better time to get started because 70% of your immune system is in your digestive tract, you guys. So what does isogenics do? It restores your digestive system. If there is a pandemic, it's never been a better time to get your immune system high. So we mm -hmm. don't want to feed off fear, but we mm -hmm. want to bring in a solution. So inviting people to learn about that. And I can host a wellness Wednesday online for you, or I can host, a, actually we would have to do it on Thursdays because on Tuesdays I sing and usually, or play the piano at church. And then Wednesdays we have our wellness Wednesday night. So that would mean Thursday nights, I could commit to doing an online wellness event for people that are in Ontario, people that are in, I know some people are from Ontario and that are watching this recording, um, or people that are all across Canada that can't come to a meeting place. So why don't we do that? We could start hosting a wellness online event um, on the Thursday night, and you could invite some people ramping up to this big event, this big cleanse. Would that be helpful for all of you guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I, kept I, people I, I just would. Yeah. I mean, that sounds great. Sounds awesome. Yeah. I just so that, I might likely, I likely may not be able to be present on a Thursday night, but I think okay. they're amazing. I think they're oh, amazing. Right. Yeah. Uh, Thursday nights is not yeah. going to work for us because we have our encounter nights at the church on Thursday nights, but that starts at six thirty, right? So what if we did, cause people are at school now. What if we did, um, what if we did a Sunday night call? Sunday at like seven, would that work? Or are you gonna be playing soccer? Uh, or eight, we could do eight. Yeah, yeah, cause we're starting at five or 5.30 now. So we usually be done by then. Okay, so what if we do mm, Monday night call, Wednesday night wellness, Sunday, Sunday night, would that, would that work for everybody? I'm up for that. Well, I can do it. Just. Yeah. yeah. Mom, you just muted yourself. I mean, if you, if you started them to support your mom first or people who are out of province first. Yeah. And then we jump in as we could kind of thing. Yes. So that would also look like there's a time that works better for them, you know? Well, we usually do, we used to do an opportunity call every single Wednesday, but we quit doing them because people weren't always showing up and it was just a lot, a lot to do. And, and it was kind of hit and miss. So we decided to do them in person because medicine had is starting to crank and there's more people and it's growing. So we found a beautiful location right across the street, which is what we found today. And we're going to be hosting our first one on Wednesday. So what we can do on Sunday night is do more of an in-person thing on Zoom. Does that work for you, Mom? Um, well, I think it only works if I can find some people that are, you know, if I can get some people interested. Yeah. Otherwise, I feel but, like then you're doing something that... But as um, a team, this is also a great learning uh, ability is because you can also jump in and host a little bit. Sarah can jump in and host a little bit. 
Danielle can host a little bit and you're practicing, right? Talking about it and doing the comp plan. Like if I said, Sarah, you're going to teach the comp plan. She's like, <clears throat> so she's going to go and she's going to study the comp plan so that she doesn't feel like an idiot when she's doing the call, right? That's exactly what happened to me. My first week in Isogenics, I had to host an international call sharing Isogenics with people and I had never done it before and I had to do it. Right? So if we put you guys in that position, you will become the right person for the position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge. So how it works. That's how it works. Okay. So here's the thing. We talked about the right belief in the company, which is watching some videos, listening to some podcasts, surrounding yourself with, you know, going on on some of the the sites like the health for life or the wealth for life and reading and listening to some of the videos. Um, we've talked about the, um, the belief in the company. So understanding about stories and hearing testimonials from other people, that's going to build your belief. The other thing we've talked about is being the right you or sorry, the right, um, the right time. Okay. So this is making time in your day that you need to set aside and get really intentional about. So what I would do for you guys that are super busy and you've got like, very crazy schedules is I would take a look at my day and I would write it out in a day planner. Okay. So if I know that between nine to 7 PM, I am book solid, then I either need to get up an hour earlier or go to bed an hour later, one or the other. And I need to take that hour at the beginning or the end of my day, because that's all I have. And this is a time where you're going to use the hour of power. Now this template is in both I think the health for life and the wealth for life, most likely the wealth for life. And that's a template that's going to teach you guys about how to use that hour the most effectively. Okay. So wishing people birthdays, sending people messages, adding new friends or connecting through social groups, adding content to their posts, right? Oh, it's so awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Happy birthday. Um, you know, good job on that. Well done on this you know, you're connecting with people. Okay. And then you're doing your post, you're doing your Instagram or, um, Facebook story. Okay. You're posting to Instagram, you're reaching out to some new people and inviting them to either, um, if they're already doing isogenics to the team calls, you're inviting them to the wellness Wednesday events, and you're inviting new people to take a look at isogenics. You're going to spend an hour doing that. And it breaks it down into the minutes so that you don't get scrolling on Instagram or Facebook and get lost for two hours. And then you're like, what did I do? You got to remember that scrolling is not going to pay your bills. Scrolling is not going to hit your goals. So if you want to make a paycheck, you have to take action to get there. If you have a problem doing a post, you have a problem reaching out to a person, you need to stop and go back to square one and ask yourself, why am I afraid? Where is this fear coming from? and then deal with the fear. Okay. So what is the truth? Am I, am I afraid because so-and-so is going to think that I'm a, a nut bar, right? So why do I feel right? Get intentional. Why do I feel that so-and-so is going to think I'm a nut bar? Well, in grade five, somebody bullied me for bringing my sandwich to school. And since then I can't share with anybody, right? <laughs> okay. Forgive the person who bullied you. Bless them. Let it go. Ask God, if you give that trauma to God, what will he do in return? He will bring you peace. Now you're at peace. Do your post. Okay. So whatever you need to do to become that person so that you can get out of the way of yourself, because really that's what it comes down to is you need to get out of the way of yourself. It's not about you. It's about them. These people need this. They need health and wellness. They need to be able to get this nutrition in their body. There's so many people that are zombies right now. People need this. There's so many people that are dying of diseases right now. Some of them that you might have to be tough love with a family member that's going through a trauma or something like that. You might have to just be like, you know what? You're doing this. I don't care. It's happening. Okay. Because if you don't, you're going to have a problem. All right. And I had to do that to one of my family members this week. And she said, okay, let's do it. Let's do it right? So those specific people that are struggling, you want to ask them to check with their pharmacist and give them the links. Okay. Don't just be like, go on the website and look it up yourself. 
you go and you go to the website and you click save, copy, save to a file that says so-and-so's medical pharmacist file. And you save the Ionic Supreme, you save the cleanse, you save the shake, you save whatever you're going to give them. And you send it off in an email and you say, this is what you're going to show your pharmacist. Let me know what they say. You got to get proactive about these things or these people will never take the first step. Okay. And then guess what? Right? Like you could be the person that changes the course of their life and their family's life. That is a powerful place to be. Right? So that is helping you with your timing. It's helping you with the community. Now we're talking about being the right person. Okay. So this means that you might need to take some time to go to the Saturday socials and get some people to pray for you or get, you know, hang out with the community or jump on the team call and get some belief in yourself, right? You might need to go and listen to a podcast about how to be productive, right? Tips and tricks on being productive, tips and tricks in carving some time out, out for yourself, right? You might need to be able to go and say how to deal with fear on YouTube and watch it, like actually watch it right? So whatever the thing is that you're struggling with, you need some personal development. Good job, Kato. He's cooking with mom. So that's the thing is, is that you might need to do some personal development. So a lot of these courses and classes and stuff that Isogenics teaches helps you with self-development, listening to these stories of people who didn't believe in themselves, listening to people who were like, I didn't know that I could get a transformation. I was hopeless. I didn't think I would amount to anything. I didn't think anybody wanted to listen to me. And now they're helping thousands of people change the course of their life and giving them hope again. So whatever it, you need to do to get to be that right person, maybe you need time with God and you need to pray. Maybe you need to surround yourself with a more um, encouraging group of people. You know, maybe you need to just take some of your stuff and deal with it, right? Whatever it is, you need to become the right person you need to have the right amount of time that you're ready to commit to for your goals. So let's say mom's goal is I want to make two grand a week and she's only going to commit one hour every three days. Not going to happen guys, unless she's like nailing every single three way call that she gets me in. Right. Right. So you have to show up and be consistent. If you want to consistently have a future with this, right. It's just like your job. If you only showed up like 30 minutes every other day, do you think you're going to get a paycheck for that? Heck no, right? This is work. It is work and you do have to work at it. But remember, it's something that you do once and you should be able to make a return on over and over and over again, right? Especially if you can give those people a great experience with checking in on them and asking them how they're doing, right? So we've talked about... <laughs> <laughs> cute. I'm singing about cheese. I'm sorry. No, it's so cute. <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys, is that if you guys want to grow your business, you need to figure out what your goals are. So write them down. Okay. If you want to grow in your results, you need to write your goals down and keep them in front of you. Okay. So this means if you want to go and lose 50 pounds, you don't go and stop off at McDonald's every night on your way home from work. Okay. You need to follow your system and take it accordingly. Use your guide. Your welcome guide is going to be your best friend. It's going to help you with everything. And plus the accountability calls will help with that as well. All right. Um, on top of all of that, um, we're going to be posting some stuff to invite people. So I'll put them into the group chat and you guys can follow along with that. Um, is there any questions so far of, of what we're talking about being intentional? Yep. Oh, it's my turn. Um, you mentioned carving out time and setting those goals, you know, uh, in the morning or at, or at night, yeah. if you have a chocked full day. Um, it would be helpful if you shared what Gabrielle shared um, about taking action in that hour. Mm. Uh, that would be really awesome. If you could, do you remember some of those things that she she had said? about taking um, action is that a taking action so you mean like about doing the posts about yeah like she she said she does three things like one was related to post one was related to um following up 
following up and one was relating to team development or self-development. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and inviting, right? Okay. So this is what Gabrielle did and this is what we're doing here in Medicine Hat to build her business to huge size very quickly is she set up one day in the week where she would set a time. This is when we're going to do our, our event all week long. She would invite, 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 invite. That means she would go to a workout class so she could meet more people that were athletic so she could invite them. It means going to a Bible study or a group of people who you know would really love this kind of community and this kind of nutrition, meeting people and inviting them, right? So that's a way that you know every Wednesday at 7 p.m. without fail, you don't need to do a three-way call. You just bring them to the event. So she would use all that time all week long to invite, 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 invite. And then every Tuesday at her house, she would host an event at 7 p.m. She would do a smoothie bowl tasting and she would answer any questions. And then all week long again, she would invite. Now, on top of that, that one thing, that's one thing of taking proactive. The other thing is transformations and financial stories. She said showing love. That's what she called that part. That was a good Absolutely. one. Absolutely. So showing love. This means congratulations. Sarah, on your epic transformation. I'm so proud of you. Here's what Sarah said about her transformation, and here's a picture of it, okay? Congratulations, Deborah. You cycled two times this week, and you were able to use that money to go over to missions. Way to go, Deborah Bedford. Here's Deborah's story, right? Right? I was uh, working from home, um, taking care of my house. I wanted to reach out to missions more. I wanted to give back more. And I wasn't able to do that financially because we were already donating to other people. But I really believed in this movement. My daughter introduced me to a way that I could earn an income from home at the same time getting in the best shape of my life. Now I help other people to do the same and I'm able to give more because I'm helping more, right? And I would say, congratulations, Deborah. I'm so proud of you and what you're doing with your time and your, your finances and, uh, and your heart behind it all, right? So that would be one way of showing love. Another way of showing love is going and encouraging other people in their life, which is going to help those people start to connect more with you. That means they're going to watch your stories, means they're going to look at your posts, and it means they're going to start engaging with you on social media. So if you show love on their, their Facebook page or you show love on their post, it's going to start popping up in your news feeds, and that's one way to do it. So inviting is one, posting is another, and literally reaching out to people, right? Just reaching out. It's, it's just a question. How's it going? You don't have to be like, how's it going? I do isogenics and it's amazing and everybody needs to get started. We're doing a class all the first. No, don't vomit on them. That would freak me out. And I already do isogenics. Do you know what I'm saying? Just say, how's your day going? What's going on with your kids? Are you excited school's turning on, you know? Um, maybe, hey girl, I haven't talked to you since high school. You know, how's things going in your life? And then don't just pelt them with isogenics. Get the conversation flowing. And then again, use feel, felt, found, right? I know how you feel. I totally get it, right? This is, this is how I felt and this is what I found. You know, are you open to taking a look, right? There's a beautiful invitation a um, uh, video from Emily Barbara that is on our Wealth for Life. Even if you guys just scroll through the Wealth for Life and look at those videos that are already there, there's so much content. There's the hour of power that you guys can follow along as well, okay? So that's another really good thing is just pouring, pouring belief into people, pouring love into people. And remember, listen. Just listen to what they're saying back to you and meet them with a solution. Girl, it sounds like you're really struggling. Like, I totally understand. I was the same way. Had no energy. I was really stressed out and I'd gone through a big trauma. Would you be open to coming to a Wellness Wednesday night and me showing you how I changed that for myself? Don't sit there and try to explain how you change your energy with shakes and ionics and cleanse. Just invite them and let them come, right? We're going to be doing a tasting thing. Why don't you come and have a taste, right? It's really low key. It's in this really cute little cafe shop kind of thing come have a look, right? Or, hey girl, I know that you've been struggling back in Ontario. I haven't seen you in a long time, um, but I heard that you were really struggling. And um, I, I've been working with health and wellness now, and I've been really able to help a lot of people get better results. 
you know, and, and be able to heal. Would you be open to coming and taking a look at the Sunday night call? I think this would be something that could change your life, right? Are you open, right? Would you be open to taking a look at it? The scariest thing for everybody in this business is feeling like they're stupid. Okay. Everybody starting out is afraid because they feel like they don't know enough, so they're going to look stupid. Right? Guess what? Being able to know everything isn't always going to be the answer for these people. Right? Just inviting somebody to take a look at something you don't need to know anything about it. You just have to ask them because the heart behind it is you want to help people. But if you want to help them, but you don't ever invite them to take a look, how are they ever going to know? Right? So here's the thing that I would suggest for you guys. If you're afraid of feeling or feeling dumb or feeling stupid, right? Pour some time into your, your self-development. Okay? Take some time for yourself. Maybe it's 30 minutes. That's all you can commit to. You lift, listen to a half a podcast while you're walking or while you're exercising or while you're doing something, right? Or maybe while you're cooking, you put it on and put it in your ears. Okay, this is my time, kids. I'm going to do this while you're playing video games. I'm going to listen to this. Mom, this is my time to go paddle boarding and put some earbuds in my ear and listen to it or walk around the lake. Jason, you're going to go and drive your cars. Put something in your ears and listen to it while you're driving your cars around. Okay. Or if you're traveling on the road, that's what I do all the time. I don't always listen to music. I, I turn the music off and I put a podcast in, right? If I'm having a hard day, first person I'm going to go to is probably TD Jakes. Get me out of the funk. Okay. Now I feel like I'm lit up. What do I got to do about it? I don't know how to share asogenics. Go to YouTube, how to share asogenics if that's what you need to do and hear it from somebody fresh, okay? So whatever you need to do, I used to do this all the time. I would go in and I would say isogenic stories, isogenic uh, transformations on YouTube, and I would watch these people, and I would learn about what they, what they said. Sometimes it's different lingo, and you might find somebody that has a lingo that's just like you, and you're like, that's, that's it, that's what I needed to hear, you know? But it's really simple. It's like sharing a restaurant, you don't have to be a cook to share a restaurant, right? Except mom just pulled a giant turkey out of the oven. Nice job there, cook. So here's- Yeah, the are you inviting us over or what? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to be a chef to invite somebody to eat food, right? Right? You don't have to be a mechanic to suggest a good mechanic shop, right? right? You don't have to be a fisherman just because you're eating fish one night. You don't know where that fish came from. You just know you like to eat fish. So if your thing is, is that you're freaked out about being, feeling like you're dumb, they don't know what you're talking about either. So just say, would you be open to taking a look at this? I think this could help your solution that you're looking for. That's it. It's that simple guys. It, you don't have to know all these things, but if you are wanting to grow your business and learn more about stuff so that you can feel like you're educating on towards more because you're passionate about that, then do it. Some of the millionaires in isogenics don't know a lot of stuff because they felt like keeping it simple is the easiest thing for everybody. So having all the answers for them wasn't ideal. For me, it's something I'm passionate about because I want to know what I'm talking about. I want to know how to share with people. So you got to figure out for you, does it matter? Do you want to know about, you know, what to do? Or do you want to just say, take a look at the wellness call? It's your commitment. And the thing that's great about that is you don't have to be 100% committed, right? To like, full-time isogenics, you can do an hour a day using that program and you can build your business that way. Does that make sense to everyone or like, 
at all. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that makes good sense. I, I never thought about the simple side of things. That's really good. Did you want to say something, Jason? I was basically going to say the same thing. Yeah, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So, Mom, did you have any question about anything or... Or you want to say anything about that, or because we used you as an like an, as an example for tonight. But um, the thing that also um, that we didn't talk about is say mom wants to earn five hundred dollars and she can't cycle because she's just starting out. This is a big question a lot of people ask me. So if you want to be able to learn how to make an income, right, you're gonna have to go into your back office. So let's open that up here really quick. So you go back office, isogenics. I'm going to show you guys exactly where you can calculate what you need. You're going to go to resources, actually promotions. They changed some things around just recently. And here you're going to go to um, product introduction bonus. Okay, so let me just make my screen bigger. Do you guys see that okay right there? in your back office. So you're going to click on that. And this document here is going to tell you exactly what you're going to earn when you invite somebody to try the products. So let's just say, mom, you know that there is a, um, an October cleanse coming up and your girls want to do it for 30 days. So they're going to need enough product to last 30 days, right? Cause they don't want to pay shipping twice, right? You're going to get free shipping. So that's going to save them 20 bucks. It's gonna cost them 300 bucks. It's awesome. They're gonna redirect their spending for a month. So two thirds of their grocery bill is now gonna be taken care of by Isogenics. They just need to look after their one meal a day if they really wanna do it that way. So in that case, they, you first ask them their goals, ask them what their budget is, get a pack that fits their goals, and you can do this using a three-way call with me. All of you guys can, okay? or invite them to the Wellness Wednesday, or invite them to the Sunday night call, okay? And I'll do it for you there. So let's just say, mom, you need to earn $500 cash money guaranteed. So you can either invite, uh, let's do this. You can take $500 and divide it by, say, 30. So you need 16 people to introduce Isogenics to in your business this, this month, this October, or September going into October, to be able to hit your goal. Now that would be on an e-starter pack, okay, or a energy system, or even, um, let me just see here, a nine-day system would be $10, um, $10 PIB, okay? So this is called the product introductory bonus. It's like telling somebody to go to a good restaurant, they go to the restaurant, the restaurant pays you the $10, right? Okay, so if we're gonna do, um, let's just say the basic pack, right? That's a big one, that's, that's one that a lot of people are gonna go for. Then we're gonna go and find the basic pack on here. And I can see, where is it? Weight loss basic pack, right here. $30 PIB, so let's just say, she gets double PIBs because she introduces two people a week. So it'd be $60 times two is 120. So times four, she'd actually make $480 if every week she just invited two people per week. She'll get the double PIBs on a weight loss basic pack. That's pretty much almost right there, mom. You would cycle and you would make plus another $60. Oops. That's $540. So you could take Dan out for a nice dinner and send $500 over to Mozambique, right? So there you go. So two people a week on a basic pack to get them ready to change their life. Okay, so that's an option. Now, say one person wants a basic pack every week and one person wants a premium pack because they have snacking issues or whatever. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna find the premium pack and you can see it gets $550 for a premium pack, right? Um, and weight loss premium pack right here. So I'm gonna highlight that for you guys and make it bigger so you can see. 
So we're going to take $500 or $55 and times that by two, which is $110, a PIB. So if you want to take 110 and you want to divide 500 by 110, so you need to have pretty much two people per week for two weeks, and then uh, one person either on a weight loss value pack or a couple people to make up the last hundred dollars. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? Okay. So what you want to do, let's just say this is my journal. I'm going to write $500 is my goal. If I know that I want to hit $500, I'm going to write down all the variables needed to hit that goal. So I know I need, either need to go and get a couple people started on basic packs. I need to get a couple people started on the weight loss value pack. And I need to get a couple people on a premium pack. And I need to do two per week because you're going to get the double PIBs. That is another way of making $500. Okay, so mom, you would look at your team, you would look at your points, and we can work that out for you, and we set some intentional goals, okay? So we're taking a look at what we want to accomplish, and then we're going to set the intentional goal on how to get there. Does that sound good for everybody? Yeah, yeah? sounds great. So in your time that you have, you can message me and say, today I want to set some intentional goals, Trina. Can you take a look at my back office? and tell me what I need to do. And we'll go there and we'll do it together, okay? And then for that month, your yep. focus is taking the action. Now, every day, that means you post every single day. You don't know what to post, message me, right? Or take a calendar out on your phone or on, on a big calendar thing. You write down Sunday is gonna be family day. So you're gonna post a picture of the turkey mom. You're gonna picture, Big, beautiful turkey dinner. Everyone sitting around the table. Happy family Sunday. Who else is out there having a big family meal together today? And then you're going to get people commenting, right? Mondays is going to be uh, Money Mondays or something, right? So Mondays could be like, congratulations, Trina. You just earned um, 27 cycles, which I don't even know how much money that is. Let's find out. Okay. So you're going to take a picture of me and you together that we have somewhere, right? And you're gonna go 27 cycles times 60. I made $1,620 of residual income last week. Okay, so you're gonna post that and say, congratulations, Trina. Um, you know, most people dread Mondays. We love Mondays because we get paid every week in our, in our back offices or every week in our, my email, I get an email or a text message congratulating me that I got paid. Right. And today I want to celebrate my daughter, Trina. She's a missionary. She loves helping people. She um, has had back issues her for the last year and a half and couldn't work, blah, 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 and do a story about on that. Right. And congratulations. You just did this. I'm so excited for other people who are struggling as well to be able to earn an income from home. If you'd like more information on this, please send me a private message. I would be so happy to share with you. Right. That's a Monday. Tuesday. Maybe you do um, Transformation Tuesday, okay? So here's a picture of Gabrielle Dean, or here's a picture of Sarah, or here's a picture of Gab like Gabby or myself or whatever. And you go, you know, congratulations. Use the ones that are already in our Health for Life. It's already done for you. Their stories are all there. And you just say, congratulations. You tag them in it if you can. If you don't know who they are, just leave it and it's fine. And then just say, this is their story. Because it's not for you. It's for the people looking at it right? Wednesday's hump day. Most people hate their life on a Wednesday. So what you're going to do is you could say, uh, you could say today's hump day. So let's have a good laugh. And you post something really funny and it's just a joke. Okay. Or you ask a question on a Thursday, how many people out there, if you could use the love hearts would want to lose weight, according to the love hearts, put your heart below of what you're looking for. And then a bunch of people are like, oh, 50 pounds, oh, 75 pounds, oh, to five pounds, oh, two pounds, whatever. All those people. So, oh my gosh, it's so exciting that you're looking to lose some weight. I would love to contact you or I'm going to shoot you a quick message or something like that or love it and be like, oh girl, that's so cool. I, I'm, I totally share the same goal or whatever. And you comment on it. Then in your private messaging box, you're going to invite them to the wellness event. 
or you're going to invite them to the Sunday call. Okay. I'm so excited that you're looking to get some results of yourself. Here's my results. Flick them your before and after picture, mom. Right. I totally get it. You know, what, what are your, what are your look, what are your goals right now, girl? You want to lose five pounds this is awesome. What do you, you know, are you trying to fit into a pair of jeans? Like get her talking about it or get him talking about it. And then when they go, yeah, 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 I totally want to do this. Oh, I will do this with you. There's a, there's a cleanse coming up on October, right? So then on Friday, you're going to do something that's like, I don't know, like uh, going out or doing something fun, fun Fridays, right? Some kind of event or something you're going to or an action. Saturdays could be your chill day. I love how I get to sit home in my PJs on a Saturday and enjoy my coffee and make, make this beautiful product smoothie bowl. Right. And then on a Sunday, you do a Sunday fun day. I don't know, whatever, but you, you make a calendar for yourself and you post in those days specific things so that you're reaching your action goals. Because if you don't have a plan, you're not going to execute it. Right. Right. Okay. So I've talked for long enough <laughs> We're at eight o'clock at night. Do you guys have any questions for me or are you listening to all this and feeling completely overwhelmed? Like, where are you at right now, you guys? Like, and, and feel free to be honest because it helps me to be able to, you know, to give you guys what you need. I think it's good. I think it's um, good to have goals and break it down so that it's doable. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it just feels like, I don't know where to start. So. Right. Okay, cool. So that's really awesome. So this is, this is perfect for you guys to be able to see this and write down your goals and go, okay, if I need to just talk to two people this week, then you just take one at a time, right? Mm -hmm. You just take it one, one step at a time, but you don't focus on the whole $500. You just focus on, okay, this week I'm going to go find two people, just two. You might have to invite 10 and only two show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. And don't be, don't be afraid when people say no, it's just not right now. They're not the right person. They don't have the belief in the company because they haven't seen it or exposed to that. And it's not the right time. Okay. So if people say, no, it's not no to you. It's just not right now. That's all. And don't feel like, again, you have to explain it to people. Keep it simple. I would love for you to be, you know, I'd love to invite you to a wellness Wednesday night. Are you open to coming along? I'll even come and pick you up, right? If you personalize it, like think of it, let's put it in the context of the church. It's a new, per it's a new person. You're inviting them to go to church for the first time. And you're like, okay, I'll see you there. I'll meet you at the front door. Or do you have a ride? Do you need me to pick you up and to take you there? You can sit with me. I've got a seat for you. Jason, if I said that to you, you would feel safe going with me, right? Yeah, yeah. So the same thing is what you want to do with isogenics. You don't want to just fire something on your Facebook page and hope somebody sees it and comes. You need to be intentional and hold their hand all the way to the door, right? Make them feel safe so that they can, they can be open enough to ha hearing the information that might change their life. Does that sound good? Okay, cool. Well, you yeah. guys, thanks so much for, for jumping on the tonight's team call. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here and, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm super stoked that, you know, that we're going to be able to do this cleanse coming up. We're going to be able to help some people maybe, you know, pay for some Christmas bills or whatever they have. And, uh, and remember like check your emails from Isogenics. They're constantly sending out, um, information about, uh, certain, um, different types of promotions, different types of products that are coming out. Um, we do have a seasonal shake coming. So get ready, you guys. When the shake drops, we have to move fast. That means you contact everybody in your downline and you say to them, hey, we have a new shake. It's going to sell out in one or two days. So let's get at it. Let's, let's get this. And I think it could possibly be a fall flavor. The other thing too is Isogenics is going to be launching our brand new blenders very soon. So keep an eye out on that. We'll probably have a promotion based around that. And there's some really cool things happening with Isogenics recycling, as well as some new things that are coming down the pipeline. So um, I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get 
next week, we're going to be using, um, doing a full teaching on the Penny app. Okay. So Penny is our, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Penny is our new app for Isogenics. She is your personal assistant. So she's the one that says, Hey, it's time to reach out to this person. Hey, this person's auto ship is going to send in this day. Hey, you need to go and reach out to this person and she helps you. Okay. So I'm going to have um, a, a teaching session on this on next Monday's call. So if you know people that are in your downline that are wanting to build their business and they're wanting to be there and they're wanting to be present, make sure that they are because you don't want to miss this teaching. Okay. This is going to be your personal, personal assistant that is going to remind you of things when you're busy. Um, I had one mom share her story and she said she had a, her son or daughter was very sick. It was in the hospital and without Penny, she would have completely lost control of her entire team because she would have, she would have forgotten about everything. So Penny, Penny reminded her and in the pockets of her time of sitting there in the hospital, she would send a couple messages out to people and stay on top of it. And she actually increased her business in a very trying time where she wasn't able to be as present as normal because she had this app. So for you guys that are wanting to build your business, if you don't learn the tools and then you have business builders come in, how are you going to teach them how to learn those tools if you don't know how to use it, right? And Isogenics goes out of their way to give us these tools to help us to take the pressure off and to help us build. So why not learn how to use it right and be able to help our people, okay? So I'm going to wrap up the call. It's 8.10. We've gone five minutes over because we started at, you know, well, we kind of started at 7.10 anyways. <laughs> But either way, thank you guys so much for jumping on. I will post this recording in to the team chat and so you guys can watch it. Um, I do remember that last week's wasn't loading because I didn't have internet in my place. So I actually will put last week's one, which was really great. I think um, I think if I remember correctly, it was all on, on getting out of our own way so that we can be able to have success. So I will post that one and I'll post this one tonight. If you guys have any questions, if you want to get together and hustle, if you want to set some intentional goals and figure out what your goals are and write them down and go through your back office and say, Trina, what do I do to get here? How do I get here? And how do I set these goals? Let's work through it together. We'll do a private coaching session together and we'll get that locked in. Okay. All right, you guys love you so much. I'm so excited for the growth and we'll put, put some flyers up for you guys to be inviting for October 1st. Uh, 30 day challenge. So I'll talk to y'all soon and have a great night. Bye.